Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today's video was going to be about that oven experiment I have mentioned before in the past, but something came up with that that I can't get it finished today. But so you'll see what happened in an upcoming episode. But for today's video, I am going to be checking out and testing the Xbox One X. I got my Xbox One X here and a solid state hard drive for it. So on my Xbox, though, so on the so on my Xbox experiment today, my primary thing I want to see is if the solid state hard drive is actually going to increase the boot times of the box itself and game load time, particularly PUBG. Because there's nothing like when you're in the middle of a game and your game crashes. Oh no, these game froze. Hold on, we're gonna crash. And you're waiting for your box to load back up. Mm, yeah! So if there's any way to make the game load faster, that's always be nice. Cause you know, sitting there waiting, seconds turns into what feels like eternity. Second big thing is, is like, I guess Xbox wouldn't complete, be complete without some sort of, you know, uh, you know, having to have some sort of flaw, and that is they went to Seagate hard drives. <laughs> and all of us know their legendary failure rates. It's like I never have a hard drive that fails, and if it is, it's a freaking Seagate. I need to get that Seagate out of there as quick as possible before it fails on me and leaves me completely down. And, you know, probably middle of a game. So I went with Samsung, solid state. So. Let's see if this thing actually makes a difference. Coming right up. This happens to be your first time here. Consider subscribing. This video is not really so much of a tutorial, so I'm gonna walk you through what I'm going to do and some pointers that I have learned on this. It's uh, gonna be more of an experiment because I want to see if the solid state would make things faster. Uh, there's conflicting things I've been hearing that yes and no, um, that the solid state makes um, the boot time of the console and games faster. And one of those theories is because this thing's got a, already a platter drive in it, that the data interface bus is not robust enough to handle the faster speeds which I can kind of see that, but I really don't know and I want to see firsthand. Um, and it, uh, you know, getting a Seagate out of there anyway is definitely going to be a plus. So there's kind of the, what do you want to call it? The right way to do it and the shortcut way to do it. <laughs> the shortcut way, which I'm going to be doing, and I'm not sure, and we're going to see if it'll work, is just to clone the drive and all the partitions that's in there now to the new drive. Um, cloning is easy and quick. However, you can only do this if you're using the same size hard drive. Otherwise, if you don't and you go to restore your box, it will no longer work. Um, uh, Microsoft's got some weird stuff going on. However, I bought the same size drive. For one, cost. Um, a two terabyte would be nice, but um, yeah, it costs a lot more money for a two terabyte solid state. And I really didn't want to clone any smaller than a one terabyte because we know how much drive space these games take up. So I went with the same size, so I should be okay. We're gonna find out if that's the case because after I get this up and running, we will do a restore on the box after I get my times and we'll see if it crashes or, you know, shafts me over and then I got to do it the long hard way. <laughs> if you're interested in the long hard way, I did find a guy that uh, has uh, uh, he's got some forum posts on how to do it and some stuff. He even has a YouTube channel. Um, I'll put a link in my description below. He seems really smart and he actually knows what he's doing when it comes to this. So if you're actually wanting to change your drive size, go look at the larger drive. Uh, he's got some good tutorials on that. So let's get to the experiment part and see if the solid state actually makes a difference.
right, we're set up and ready to record our first power on. Well, that's a good sign it actually powered on. Oh, see if you get a display signal. All right. You start this Xbox. Uh oh. Mm, yeah. So cloning the hard drive did not work. So I recommend even skipping trying that because it took more time to clone it than it did to actually do it the right way. And to do it the right way, um, there's a YouTube channel, I'll have a link down below, where this guy knows what he's doing. He's got a great video tutorial on how to prepare your hard drive. Um, a script already made for you, so that way all you got to do is click on it, answer a few questions, and it makes all the bajillion partitions and everything and where to get the file to reload the operating system for Xbox. He's really good. I got it my first shot, no problem. It's really easy, and it took less time to actually do it the right way than to clone it. <laughs> so, that being said, let's jump into these numbers. All right, as for the numbers, they are indeed better. We'll go with the console restart times first here. Um, what I would do is I did five of them and recorded the number for each one for before and after the hard drive replacement. Before, I was averaging 69 seconds for a restart. With the new solid state hard drive, I'm averaging now 48 seconds, which is nice. All right, now let's get the averages for the game. There's one thing I did notice is that the game took a little bit longer to boot after a restart than it did restarting it or closing the game out and restarting it each time. It was always a little bit quicker, so they must hold something like that and some sort of cache or something. So I'm going with fresh boot times for the game for PUBG. Uh, fresh boot up times for the game after a restart before was averaging 40 seconds. After the solid state hard drive upgrade, it was averaging 29 seconds. So a particularly good increase there. And there is one thing I noticed playing last night on the game is that um, I was consistent, consistent, the con, mm, mm, consistently, there we go. Consistently, I was, um, when I load up into Tutorial Island, I was the first person running around for quite some time. <laughs> it was kind of cool to see just the whole group of everyone not doing nothing. So this would definitely be nice with, uh, you know, getting the game crash and having to restart it and get back in. Maybe having a better chance of surviving that ordeal. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed the experiment today. I know I sure did have a lot of fun taking that thing apart, playing with the hard drive, seeing the new better improvements on the speed. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video.